And joining us now is author Randy Minkoff. He co-authored the autobiography, Ron Santo, for the Love of Ivy. Thank you for coming in today. My we pleasure. appreciate it. My pleasure. Now, the book uh, was written quite some time ago. Uh, 17 years ago. 17 years. Uh, and uh, How did it come about? Well, you know, for about 20 years after uh, Ron retired, people were coming up to him and saying, well, let's write a book. And he just, he did not like talking about himself. And uh, I was working at WGN, I was a sportscaster, and we got to be friends. And I said, well, let's do it, no, 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 no. But then when we talked about uh, juvenile diabetes and giving the money to JDF, half the money, that's what brought him over, and that's what got him excited about doing the book. In the book, he talks about hiding diabetes. It was a different time back then, and, and he hid his disease a lot. Well, why? He didn't want people to know that he was operating under not necessarily a handicap, but anything that would slow him down. Uh, and there was, a, there was a point in the book, uh, there was one time he was on deck, and uh, Billy Williams was at bat, and he started to get symptoms uh, that uh, would make him a little fuzzy, and he said, oh, please, Billy, please get a hit so you end the game, because he didn't want to come up to bat and, you know, be fuzzy and everything. And fortunately, Billy won the game, and he didn't have to do it. That's the kind of person he was. He just didn't like to really want to have people know so much about it. He, he believed very much about helping juvenile diabetes, but he didn't want to have anyone feel sorry for him. What are your fondest memories of him? You know, there are so many stories that are being shared. I know it's kind of like putting you on the spot because there are so many. Well, I thought about it when we were writing the book. Uh, it took three or four months, and uh, he would come down to the studio, and when I wasn't doing a sports cast, we'd do some things. And he knew a little bit about me, but not a lot. Uh, as far as my background, but we talked a lot about the 60s and particularly 1969. And as we're doing the interviews, he said, boy, you know, you know an awful lot about that time. He said, how do you know? Well, I'm a baseball fan. I said, well, but you know a lot about the Cardinals. You know a lot about that. He didn't know I grew up in St. Louis. Uh -huh. So during the interview process, I said, well, Ron, I'm from St. Louis. And Ron had this way of glaring at you. And he glared at me. <laughs> and I thought he was kidding. And he said, you mean my biography is being written by someone from St. Louis? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he paused. He said, well, as long as you weren't a Mets fan, because he hated the New York Mets. He could tolerate the fact that I was from St. Louis. But if I had been from New York and had been a Mets fan, you'd be fired. We wouldn't be talking about the book today. Right, right. Well, Randy Minkoff, we appreciate you revisiting some of the great moments you had with Ron Santos, spending some time with Thank us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I appreciate it.